Hey everyone, in this lesson we would like to uh, discuss how to do a simple uh, single line diagram in ETAB program. So in order to do a single line diagram, we will use all of our elements inside here for AC, uh, measurements and DC. Now, first step is that we can add our elements in this white uh, board or we can activate the grid in order to see all of the lines or align all of our elements. So in order to activate the grid, you can see here this small symbol show grid lines so that you can simply align all of your elements easily inside E tab. Now, what is the first step? First step, we would like a grid, okay, a power grid. You will see here, we have here a power grid. Click on it one click then go anywhere one click and go anywhere for example here like this okay now another thing I would like a transmission line you will see here this one a transmission line click on it then put it like this okay now we need um, a transformer so if you go here you will find here a two winding transformer click and put it here for example another thing we would like a, a lumped load or a cable cable at first if we go here you will see this one impedance this one is our cable click on it then put it for example here okay then we need our load for example we will choose a a lumped load so the lumped load will have a sample of this one okay one click and put it anywhere for example here now we have the power grid providing power through the uh, transmission line then this transmission line will go to a transformer a step down transformer for example then giving the cable coming from the transformer to our load okay so we need to connect all of these elements using pass powers so you will see here a pass one click and you can see here for example like this so we have only one bus okay we don't have any bus you will see the mouse only here but I would like to add a pass bar here which is this one another one after the uh, transmission line which connects between the uh, transmission line and the transformer and another pass bar here another pass bar here so in order to do this instead of just one click and doing it every time we have a very simple solution you can double click on the pass bar okay double click then go anywhere for example here you will see that i have now the pass bar okay again so i can put it like this another one here and so on now if I finished my using the pass bar you can click on the mouse okay now we need to connect the elements you will see that here this is a power grid when I come close to it it becomes a pink color click on it and drag click and drag in order to connect it anywhere you would like I would like to connect it to pass bar number one you will see that when I come close to pass bar number one when I select it, you will see it becomes pink, means it is connected to it. So leave the mouse, they are connected to each other. Take this one and drag and connect. Take this one and drag to connect. Take the transformer and connect. Take this transformer. Okay, we need to move this. Click and drag in order to move the word. Okay. Click this one and put it here. Click this one and move it here. Okay, and you can do another thing. You can click on the cable and, for example, move towards the uh, pass. You will see that it becomes pink. Means they will connect. Then leave the mouse. So they are connected. You can select and drag like this and move it as you would like. Okay, the lumped load like this okay so now we have a power grid through a transmission line
power transformer then uh, underground cable for example to our load now if i would like to align all of these elements together i will select all of these elements then right click then alignment then you can choose any alignment form you would like as an example i will choose this one okay this align you will see that here this one see the written word here or written sentence here okay alignment you will see that here it says align selected elements in vertical at the center location of the anchor element the, uh, the element which i selected okay so if i click like this you will see that now all of the elements are centered together okay now we would like to do another thing if i would like to um, add another uh, cable and route okay or save this one as a template in order to use it several times so i can click like this and select this two elements which is the cable and the lumped load then you will see that here there is a board here an option called uh, get template or add to OLV template one line view template add to one line view template like this you will see that here it tells you uh, to save the template as you would like for example I will call it template number two okay and save okay following a while generator successfully add this extension okay now what is the next step if I would like to add more than one cable and the lumped load simply go back get template okay and you see template number two which is a cable and lumped load then okay now we will find here this is the element which we uh, saved before okay very nice so we can take this and add it like this move it like this select and move okay and we can do a nice thing to zoom in like this okay let's go down in order to see all of our elements okay so get the mouse now uh, what is the next step now what if i deleted this element for example delete this one okay you will find that the uh, template when I selected uh, this one, all of the components are selected together. Why? Because they are a template. Now, right click and click ungroup. Okay, so this element, you can select it alone or this element or even the pass bar. So, for example, if I deleted the lump load like this, click on delete. Now, if I would like to get it back, you will find it in here, system dumpster click on it you will find here this is the one which we uh, deleted uh, before okay this load now you can uh, control c then uh, get back to the one line diagram and control v now i got back the element which i deleted okay i copied it from the system dumpster and return it back here okay now what if I have a very large system okay a very large system and I would like to add it as a network okay so uh, network composite which is uh, here composite network one click and click anywhere so we'll find it's called network number one okay okay now i would like to connect it to this bus bar we can click on this bus bar and extend it like this okay click and drag very simple now i will connect it for example to this point okay now if i double click on the network you will find it is having a four points one point connected to bus three the left point the right one and the bottom point okay it has four points the upper the lower the or the bottom right and the left you will find that the upper one is connected to bus number three let's get back window and uh, OLV one 
uh, edit mode okay if we get back you will see that here the upper one is connected to bus number three exactly as it says inside the network now we can double click the network in order to add any line diagram we would like another line diagram if it is a very large system okay so we can click on get template for example we'll use this load okay and we'll connect it for example to the bottom one okay or not the bottom one we will connect it to the upper one like this okay so what happens here okay let's move this so what happens here is that this load is connected to the upper point and the upper point is connected to pass bar number three so if we get back window or lv1 you will find that this point is connected to the upper point of the network which is connected to our load okay so uh, from this you can add uh, several uh, elements inside the network and connect it to this point or this point or this point and uh, getting back to our OLV we can use this point or this point or this point to connect it to a different elements in the power system so in this video we learned how to do a simple single line diagram